Suppose you're a billionaire, actually a multi-billionaire, but then a repressive regime takes control of your country and threatens you with jail. What would you do? You can go anywhere in the world and live in luxury, or you can stay and go to jail. Jimmy Lai chose jail. This documentary covers his imprisonment and lets him explain why he chose jail. Lai grew up in China during Mao's Cultural Revolution. My mother was in labor camp. We were just five or six, and we were managing ourselves without an adult in the household. When I was eight and nine, I worked in the railway station carrying people's baggage. There, he learned that just offshore on a little British-controlled island called Hong Kong, people were less poor. So he went there. It wasn't easy. I was put in the bottom of the fishing trunk together with like maybe 100, maybe 80, and everybody vomiting. But he got to Hong Kong. The first day I went to, I went for breakfast, and I never saw so many things for breakfast. And I was, I was, I was so moved, I was crying. He got a job in a sweatshop. We had to wake up like before seven, and then we worked until like 10 o'clock. But it was a very happy time. It was a time that I know I had a future. The chance for a better future makes such a difference. Hong Kong sweats with commerce and opportunity. It didn't matter if you had a college degree, nobody cared. As long as you wanted to work, you had a good idea, you could learn, you could make it in Hong Kong. Lai eventually saved enough to start a clothing business. I start a very small factory and eventually we became one of the biggest sweater factory in Hong Kong. Well, I was able to do that because while Hong Kong's police enforced law and order, the British rulers otherwise left people alone. That allowed people to prosper. British gave us all the institutions of freedom, the rule of law, the human right, the free speech, the free market. Lai understood that those things are key to prosperity because he discovered this book, The Road to Serfdom. The book changed my life. Here, Frederick Hayek describes spontaneous order, the idea that just as a flock of birds doesn't need a leader, we humans create order out of nothing if left free. That has created the best in the world. And that's very enlightening for me. Well, I assume that the communist Chinese, seeing the success of Hong Kong, would leave the island alone. After all, even the communists had embraced some capitalism. I thought China's gonna be changed, China's gonna be like Western country that you know I've been to and, and I was very excited. But then came Tiananmen Square. People were gathering and protesting, and then the tanks rolled in. The Tiananmen Square massacre inspired Lai to start a media business. That I deliver information, which is choice. And choice is freedom. Lai covered Chinese government abuses when other media wouldn't. Everybody was so chicken out, so scared that they went into self-censorship to avoid offending the communists. So many businessmen keep quiet because they have investments in China. So Hong Kong people always have a soft spot for a guy willing to speak out as Jimmy does. But then the communists declared it illegal for Hong Kongers to criticize them. It's impossible for media to survive because whatever we say, can be sedition. Being convicted of sedition would mean jail time, three years to life. But Lai kept his paper open anyway. If we just surrender, we will lose the rule of law, we will lose the freedom, we will lose everything. Hong Kong did lose its freedom. We can see that the city itself is dying. Still, Lai refused to leave. I came here without anything. Anything I have is this place. I owe freedom my life. You have every opportunity, as Jimmy Lai did, to leave Hong Kong, to go to Taiwan, to go to America, but he stayed. I have long determined not to be frightened by fear. Don't think about the consequences. Do what is right. For publishing the truth, he was arrested.
He was shackled and perp walked through his own offices. China sentenced Lai to five years in jail and said they may add more years. So does Lai wish he'd moved his businesses and himself out of Hong Kong? He says no. It would be so boring just being a businessman. I want to make my life more meaningful and interesting, and that, that's why I got into the trouble I got into today, and I'm happy to have it. Happy to have it. Jimmy Lai's a hero. The world would be a better place if there were more people like him. See you again. Thank you. Thanks yes, a lot. Yes. Thank you. To learn more about Jimmy Lai, you can watch the whole documentary at freejimmylai.com.